Technique for Crystal Lens Insertion The key to using this accommodating lens is to keep the lens vaulted posteriorly. We'll go ahead and create a large capsorexis at least 6 millimeters or larger in diameter. We can then go ahead and remove the lens nucleus in any manner that we choose. I wish to thank the following people here for their help in my learning how to use this lens. We'll go ahead and fill our capsule bag completely with a cohesive viscoelastic. Now I'm going to use the star injector, which is the one that's specified by Ionix, to insert the lens into the capsule bag. I'll use the chopper here for some counter traction, and I'll go ahead and insert the leading haptics and optic in the capsule bag. I'll now use the chopper to push and ensure that the trailing haptics also go directly in the capsule bag. This is important so we don't catch the iris. I'll now rotate the eye well so that it moves to the 12 and 6 o'clock position. You'll also note that I'm keeping the lens vaulted posteriorly. And here we can see the correct orientation of the 12 and 6 o'clock meridian. The haptics are at the capsule bag equator, whereas the posterior capsule is vaulted against the optic. We'll go ahead and hydrate the incisions, including the roof of the incisions. And remember, we're hydrating this prior to removing the viscoelastic. This is because the viscoelastic is now keeping the lens in its correct orientation, vaulted posteriorly. Now go ahead and thoroughly remove all the viscoelastic, but remember to keep the anterior chamber fully formed. We don't want to let the anterior chamber collapse. We can remove the probe rather quickly to avoid collapsing the anterior chamber. If we do get a little collapse, as we saw here, we'll go ahead and reinflate by the paracentesis, but now also reposition the lens. I'll do this rocking motion of ensuring that the haptics are at the capsular equator and the capsular bag posteriorly is up against the optic. So we have now the correct orientation of the lens. We can go ahead and keep the anterior chamber pressurized and check our incisions. So in summary, the bottom line is to keep the lens vaulted posteriorly. Thank you.